It marks the end of our intense week of prayer and fast. That doesn't mean that you don't continue doing your prayer and fasting. But we as a, a corporate body, we had put aside this week, this church, so that everybody could be involved in prayer and fast. Yes. Amen. We had a wonderful week. And today culminates, amen, this week of prayer and fast. And we have come with expectation. We have come with excitement. Amen. You have already heard the prayers going up. Hallelujah. The rumbling of the prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is touching the heart of God. And today, expect your miracle because we are going to have a double anointing service. Hallelujah. A double anointing. Double breakthrough. Hallelujah. Double blessings. Double miracles in your life. Come. Believe in. And when you leave, you will be receiving. Hallelujah. Lord, I worship you. I praise and bless your name. I thank you, Lord, for bringing us here this morning under the power and the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Many of us have already prepared ourselves, Lord, my God, for this week. Hallelujah. Many of us got up early with excitement, my God. Lord, to come and give you honor and glory and praise. I pray even as the praises go up, let the blessings come down, Father, my God. Lord, my God, manifest yourself among us. Uh, Lord, bring healing, deliverance, and miracles, Father, as we love Love you as we praise you as we adore you as we give you honor and glory and, and praise oh lord we love you lord you are creator god you are creator of the universe you are the great i am that i am lord you are the rose of sharon the lily of the valley the bright and morning star lord you are king of kings and lord of lords lord there is none like you jesus we give it the honor we give it the glory we give it the praise Take control of this service this morning. Run it for your honor and glory, Father. We worship you, Lord. Even as the praises go up, let the blessings come down. Lord, we come expecting a double anointing this yes, morning. Lord, Hallelujah. Jesus. Lord, we come with great Lord. desire for oh my God. Hallelujah. Lord, for a double anointing, for double miracles, double breakthrough in our lives, our situations, oh God. I pray, Lord, that you take control by your mighty Holy Spirit. That you run everything for your own glory. Every aspect of this service, run it for your own glory. And I thank you, thank you, thank you for answering every prayer today. In Jesus' name, amen. Give the Lord a big clap. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Bless your holy name. You may have your seat, so I explain what we're doing this morning. Amen. So once again, on behalf of my wife, myself, the leaders of Word of Faith Gospel Tabernacle, we welcome each and every one of you. This is not the normal service, amen. We depend on the move of God's yes. Holy Spirit. God may do some different things, amen, this morning, as led by Him, because we have prayed, we have fasted, we have sought God, amen. And God is a miracle working yes. God. Services like this in the past, many have been healed, delivered, and set free. God breakthroughs of different sort, amen. People with cancer disappear and go on. People with tumors in their, in their head disappear and go on. People have been healed. Great breakthroughs and victories. So as you reach out this morning, God is able to answer your prayer. So we'll do some worship, some praise and worship. We'll take up our offering a little earlier today. But what I want you to do, we always want to bless your finances. So that's why we have told you during the week, don't give all your offering. Hold on to something. Maybe a, a, a $5, whatever. And we want to anoint. When we have our anointing, we'll make a line in a neat way. And we want to anoint you and your finances. That money that you keep aside, put it in your wallet. Put it wherever, whenever you get paid or whatever money you get. Rest your money near that. Fold it in a particular way. Don't go and buy your groceries and so on with that. Fold that, you will identify it. And when you get paid or whatever, and you put your money in your wallet, let it touch that. And we pray that God will give you a double. Amen. Amen. There are many prayers that have been placed in this prayer request box. At the end of this service, we'll be lifting it up in prayer. 
Amen. And uh, Brother Bob, together with somebody else at the church, they will go and burn this at the back of the church. This will not be lying around for anybody to, to see your business. In fact, that is none of our business. That is between you and God. And God is already answering prayers. In fact, what a sister was telling me during the week, the very first day, she was saying that God had already answered her prayers. And that is the victory and the breakthrough that you are having. Amen. So, it's not the normal service. We are led by God in a particular way this morning. Amen. And I want you to participate. I want you to get involved. Amen. So this morning, myself and, and my dear wife, we will be here cheering and mixing. Amen. Doing a tag team at the cheering of the service and doing things as God will lead us to do this morning. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let us all stand as we rejoice in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. And the worship team can come at this time. Praise the Lord. The pleasant according to all of you. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you ready to receive from God? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, so this morning we're not holding back, amen? We are free to worship. We are free to lift our hand, free yes, to lift our voice, free to dance amen. in his presence. Hallelujah. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, Holy Ghost.
scripture this morning taken from 2 Kings chapter 2, chapter 2 verse 1 to 13. 2 Kings chapter 2 verse 1 to 13. Amen. When you found it, just shout amen so we can read together. Amen. Hallelujah. You all found it? It is important to walk with your Bible also, right? Even though we have it on the screen. No. Look at carry that. It is important the word. Amen. He said, And it came to pass when the Lord would take up Elijah onto the heaven by the whirlwind. And Elijah went with Elisha from Gilgal. And Elijah said unto Elisha, Tarry here, I pray thee, for the Lord has sent me to Bethel. And Elisha said unto him, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee, for they went down to Bethel. And the sons of the prophet that were at Bethel came forth to Elisha and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Lord will take away thy master from thy head today? And he said, Yea, I know it. Hold ye your peace. And Elijah said unto Elisha, Tarry here, I pray thee, for the Lord has sent me to Jericho. And he said, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. So they came to Jericho. And the sons of the prophets that were at Jericho came to Elisha and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Lord will take away thy master from thy head today? And he answered, Yea, I know. Hold ye your peace. And Elijah said unto him, Tarry, I pray thee, here, for the Lord has sent me to Jordan. And he said, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee and thy two. And the two went on. And fifty men of the sons of the prophet went and stood to view afar off. And they too stood by Jordan. And Elijah took his mantle and wrapped it together and smote the waters. And they were divided hither and thither. And that the two went over on dry ground. And it came to pass as they were gone over, that Elijah said unto Elisha, Ask what I do for thee, before I be taken away from, from thee. And Elisha said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. And he said, Thou hast asked a hard thing. Nevertheless, if thou, has, if thou see me when I am taken from thee, it shall be so unto thee. If thou not, it shall not be so. And it came to pass, as they, as they still went on, the talk, that behold, there appear a chariot of fire and horses of fire, and parted them both asunder. And Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. And Elijah saw it, and he cried, my father, my father, the chariot of Israel and the horsemen thereof, and he saw him no more, and he took hold of his own clothes and rent them into pieces. And he took up also the mantle of Elijah that fell from him and went back and stood by the banks of Jordan. Amen. And I just want to share. Verse 40. Amen. Verse 40. Fourteen. And he took the mantle of Elijah that fell from him and smote the waters. And he said, Where is the Lord God of Elijah? And when he also had smitten the water, the departed thither and hither and thither and Elijah went over amen hallelujah so one verse I want to read from Isaiah chapter 61 all right I want to read verse 3 and 7 he said to appoint it unto them 
that mourn in Zion to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called the trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. Verse 7, for your shame he shall have double, yes, and for yes, your man. confusion they shall rejoice in your portion, therefore in their land. They shall possess the double everlasting joy shall be unto them. So come on, this morning, we're going to have double for our trouble this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Whatever you are going through, God wants to bless you double and triple. Amen. So we're going to open up this morning. Amen. For the fresh oil, the new oil, the new anointing for your double blessing this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So come on, double for your trouble. 2021 has brought a lot of trouble. In 2020, sorry, but in 2021, you're going to get blessing from the Lord. Double and trouble blessing. Amen. So you're going to claim it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. As we praise the Lord. Come on, he's here in this place. As we welcome him. Come on, no hold back this morning. No holding back this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, he's here. The beginning. What happened in 2021? 20, don't look back. Can control we got in 20, what tomorrow will bring. Yes, only the Lord is in control. But I know here in the middle. Will you meet me here again? 
is in this place. The Lord is in this place. Not for a minute. Not for a minute. Was I forsaken? We declare the Lord is in this place. Come on, he's here. The Lord is in you this place. Come, oh, holy, yes, come, holy spirit. These dry bones awaken. Come and let me the Lord us. is in Thank this you place. Be the Lord is in this place. Oh, come in. Oh, he never forsakes us. Oh, he never leaves us.
body as a living sacrifice. And you provide the spirit. Come on, let it be a sweet smell and savor to the Lord. I will open up inside. Oh, you provide. You provide the fire. Offering time, amen. There's a bucket there and there's one here, amen. So, while maybe you just play something and ask them to come. Remember, you're holding back something for us to pray over.
We ask Sister Monica to come and pray for the offering this morning. New doors has been opened. The land it is green. A new grace has been released. The glory. Let's all stand at this time as we pray for you. Father, we pray for this offering, Lord, that the hands that give, Lord, O oh God, a surplus will be multiplied to them, Lord Jesus, that their household will be filled, Lord, O oh God. They will lend and not borrow, Lord Jesus, in your mighty name, Lord, O oh God. Father, we pray for your blessings, O oh God. Those who have and who did not have, Lord Jesus, we pray that you will still bless them, Lord, O oh God. Because God, you are God that bless the righteous, Lord of oh God. As you seek them, let the mind that they have and the bless this morning, it will multiply and use for the furtherance of your kingdom. Amen. Thank you very much. Yes, it's a new level this morning. You may have your seats. I just want to share something brief with regard to Bill of Faith this morning. Amen. The bill of our faith this morning. So my text is one verse out of that scripture reading. And it is Second Kings chapter 2 verse 9. Second Kings chapter 2 verse 9. Hallelujah. You will see the scripture up on the screen as well. And it came to pass, when they were gone over, that Elijah said unto Elisha, Ask, what I shall do for thee, before I be taken away from thee? And Elisha said, I pray thee, let me a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. I read over the last and Elisha said I pray thee let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me Father in heaven we thank you my God for this super Sunday Lord that we choose to call it a double anointing Lord my God you're in charge you're in control of everything we give you honor and glory and praise Lord, this morning we have come with our needs, our problems, our situations. And I pray, my God, even as your word has said, it's the anointing that breaks every yoke. I pray, my God, this morning that you'd pour out a double anointing upon us. To break away every sickness, every disease, every spirit of frustration, oppression, depression, every spirit of unbelief. Every spirit of religion that is holding us back. And that you would release upon us a double portion of your anointing, of your favor, of your love, of your mercy, of blessings and miracles upon our lives today. I thank you for doing it. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. It was the days of prophet Elijah, and the way I remember this is J comes before S, right? So Elijah, J A H, would have come before Elisha, S H A. And it was time for Elijah to leave because maybe he had come burnt out, he had done a lot. In fact, he had done in his lifetime. A total of 14 miracles, great miracles. And it took a lot out of him. One of those that, which he did when he called fire from heaven. 
and he had destroyed all the prophets of Baal. A spirit of fear came over him and he ran and he said, Lord, I, I, I had enough. When Jezebel wanted to take his life, he said, Lord, I have enough. Better you take my life. I've had enough. And God, you know, we may say we have had enough, but God said, no, I have more for you. When you think, it's your time to retire. God said, no, it's time to retread. Hit the road again. Because I have more work for you. The man was really tired and God saw his heart and he said, hear me, go so and so place and I will show you who is the one that will take over from you. And as the account went, he went to a certain place and he saw Elisha plowing in the field. He was a busy man doing his work and he cast his mantle on him. He said, come follow me. Elisha said to him, I'll give me a little time. I have some of my social and family responsibilities. Let me go and straighten out that and then I will come and follow. And he followed. Elisha followed Elijah. Every step of the way. And they were there was a school of the prophets because prophecy and the prophet was a very important person in society in those days. Because they will go to a king and tell him, Hemi, your time is up. God is, is calling your way. Set your house in order. And thus said the Lord, that will take place. And there was, people were scared of them. Whenever they enter a town or a city, people wanted to know if it's good news or bad news. And these prophets did not care for their lives. They said, thus said the Lord. If you want to kill me, sorry, no problem. They were very bold. So, those... So, Elisha became part of the, the school of the prophets. So, they were all there. They used to sit and learn under Elijah. And they realized, prophecy was coming that Elijah will soon go. But the man that Elijah had chosen to be his understudy was Elisha. So wherever Elijah went, Elisha was foot to foot with him. Now God just called this man out of plowing. He was a farmer. He was involved in agriculture. Why would God call a man just like that? Despite all those who were in the, already in the school of the prophets. Are you following me? Some of them were... Maybe jealous and say, well, why he didn't call me? I have been in this school the longest. But you see, God knows our hearts. God knows what we have inside of us. He calls somebody who is totally out of the school of the prophet, so to speak, to come and learn, sit and learn. And said, you would be my replacement. Because God said so. So you could imagine... All the prophets who knew that Elijah would leave one day because prophecy was coming whenever they met and in their services and so on. And they started to tease Elijah and say, your boy's going to know. Let me see what you're going to do. You know, in little organization, you have jealousy, petty jealousies. Are you following me? When you work in an organization, some might be close to the boss, but time for the boss to retire. You say, ah, oh boy, next month, your partner going, let me see what you're going to do. Are you following me? Are you identifying with some things here? We become close, and we get favors, and time for the boys to leave. Let me see what you're going to do. You have nobody to stand up for you again. So this would have been the kind of petty jealousies that Eli sure would have been experiencing from all of these uh, colleagues uh, in the school of the prophets. Are you following me? And this young man was taking it on. Well, I don't know. I, I just came from farming. I know how to learn about these things. And I don't know much. 
Let me tell you something. You might just be saved, but you don't know much, but God could use you in a mighty way. <laughs> Hallelujah. You may not know much. You know what scripture is. You can't pray any big time prayer. But let me tell you something. If God has his hand upon you, he'll prepare, he will make a way where there seems to be no way. You take that same thing and put it in your life as a believer. You have come from various backgrounds, various religious beliefs and so, and so on. And, and, and you have taken a bold step because you felt a calling of God upon your life to be saved, to serve God, to live for Him. But guess what? Others of your family and, and your previous religious associations are looking at you. Ah boy, just now you're going to fall. You see, leave your religion, you're going to die stupid. Are you identifying with me? And your family looking out and, and looking for trouble to come in your life to see what will happen. And they start to give pressure and they're talking. You don't even know what they're talking and saying about you. Eh? So she left her religion. Now she says she's serving Jesus. Going to church with Bible, she's taking the whole her. Yeah, you see she's gone crazy now? Let us see what will happen to her. What will happen to her? Sometimes we are in that sort of pressure. Like Elisha was under pressure with his other prophet colleagues and he was wondering so when and they are saying and prophecies are coming when my boss leave what I will say you mean to say I had to carry on this work well I don't know anything I don't know anything I know come Johnny come lately I know come I don't know all these things. You all know more than me. What will I do? But you see, when you're in a situation like that, when you're in a proble problematic situation, it brings out some things uh, from inside of you that you never thought you had. Because certain responsibilities would have been cast upon this man who will now take over from his, his boss, so to speak, the senior prophet. So what he was pushed to do was to be more diligent. You see me? I hear my boss going, the prophet going. God has given this man a word that I will be the next one to take over. You see me? Every step this man make, I have to make. Hallelujah. You have come from various backgrounds. You never knew anything about Jesus. But today you have chosen to see Jesus, to serve Jesus. Hallelujah. You better follow Jesus every step of the way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You better follow him every step of the way. Get closer to know this Jesus. Because guess what? People are looking at you. People are looking at you. Your friends, your relatives, all those around you. Your co-workers, they say you got saved. You give your life to this Jesus. Let me see what will happen to you now. You better become diligent. If you still come to church, one day a month, you better find yourself every day the church opens. Because you are more diligent than ever. Because you want to serve God. You want to learn more about Him. And that is why I don't have time to go on all these references. He followed Elijah, Elijah every step. Of it. And while he was following Elijah, they used to still tease him and trouble him. When they caught him in a corner. So you know, you heard the prophecy we had today? Elijah will leave you just now, you know. Let me see what you will do. You know this kind of thing that we go through? Peer pressure and so on? Let me see what you will do. And they used to scare this young man. So he followed Elijah. Every step. Wherever Elijah was. He said, well, take a rest now, boy. What? You're not taking a rest. Stay here. I'm going across. I have some other ministry to do. He says, Master, I am not staying back here. I'm going with you. How many of us are? Uh, are so diligent in our service to God that we're willing to give up our comfort and come into that place of the presence of God. 
You see, when you want to see something different in your life, hallelujah, you have to do something different. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you used to get up six o'clock and hurry and say, five minutes of prayers to go to work, try getting up a little earlier, man. And praise Bob some more things, the problems and the situation that you are facing. And you see miracles, you see breakthroughs, you see healing, you see turn around in your family life, you see something. We need to do things a little more differently. So a few times as we went through the scriptures, you'd realize Elijah, Elijah would tell him, no, don't go, you stay here. He says, hear me, I am going with you and there is nothing you could do about it. So Elijah saw how this young man was insistent. And he decided that it seemed as though this man is after something, you know. He's after something. Let me tell you something. You decide to serve Jesus. You have given your life to Jesus. You get baptized. You want to do things for God. Let me tell you something. I am saying, don't just be the ordinary person again. Be that extraordinary person. A person with more zest, more zeal, more enthusiasm. Hallelujah. Follow Jesus because Jesus is coming soon. He's coming again and he's coming soon. And we got to be ready. Now is not a time to be cold. But a time to be more hot for God. A time to be more hot for God. So he would have known. The amount of miracles that his boss, Elijah, the senior prophet, would have done. And these guys were pressuring him. Let me see. He's a great man. Is your master here? No. Let me see what you could do when he leaves. Let me see what you could do. Eh? Some of us are, the enemy comes in our minds and, and disturbs us. Hey, you have been serving Jesus so many years, that, but there is not, nothing happening in your life. Things are getting worse. And look at the pain you're having right now in your foot, in your head, in your back. What is happening? And people laughing, your family saying, and, and you know, she's serving Jesus. And she has more pain than anybody else. She looks more sick than everybody else. Yes, yeah, we good. We fed in, we lie in, we enjoy ourselves. And she's sick. Doesn't it hurt you? So that sort of pressure put this young man, the understudy of Elijah, Elijah to say, nah, I have to take up that role. I have to take up that role. I don't just want the ordinary friend. Number one, I can't come if I have to sit, stand in this man's shoes. I can't come under his level. Are you following me? No problem, I could do the same thing that he do if I, if I get his anointing. But guess what? You see all the way these guys and I'm laughing at me? I want to be able to do more than him. Are you following me? Hmm? Yeah. I want to do more than him. So guess what? Every day he would follow his master. Go wherever he went. So his master said, what it is you want, boy. And you know what he tell him? He say, I want that double. <laughs> Lord Jesus, God touching somebody this morning. I feel the anointing already. I want that double. I want that double portion of your anointing. I want that double portion of your anointing. Yeah, take a seat, Tony. I want that double portion of your anointing. I want that double portion of your anointing. Because these guys were already laughing at him. Making joke and fun of him. He said, I just don't want to be ordinary. If God has called me, I want to be extraordinary. Hallelujah. Come on. Give the Lord a big clap this morning. Hallelujah. You are serving God. Hallelujah. Yet you're going through the ordinary troubles and the problems and the situations and COVID and 2020 and all of these things are mashing you up and unbugging you and giving you the stress and the pressures of life. Tell God, God, I want a double portion this morning. God, I want you to fight my battles for, for me. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, I want you to give me the victory in a special way. Oh God. 
bad. I need more. I need more. I need more from you, Jesus. So that my friends and relatives and my co-workers will not work them out on me. Hallelujah. They will see that I am a child of God. I'm serving the true and the living God. I'm serving the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. He's my Savior. He's my healer. He's my deliverer. He's my mighty God and everlasting Father. Are you getting the message this morning? So his, his boss, Prophet Elijah, still put him in a test. He said, well, hear me. If you are there, all the prophecies come in. If you are there to see me, catch up. To be taken away in a ball of fire, you will get that double anointing. So this made Elisha more diligent. More diligent. Eh? He had to ensure. Elijah had to ensure that he was more persistent in his search for God and to get close to God. He had to ensure that he was Present wherever his boss is. You have to take that message today. You have to be more persistent in serving God. Don't just give up. Hallelujah. Spend more time in prayer and fast and seeking the Lord. We may end this week, but it have a whole year ahead. Seek God. Be more persistent. Hallelujah. Present. Find yourself in the presence of God. For in the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. And at His right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. And He had to ensure that to get that double portion, He had to be well positioned. Because he boss tell him, the day you see me, get up and that fire. Once you see me, you will get that double portion. Amen? Friends, we have to put ourselves in alignment and this entire week, we talk about Christian living. Amen? Align yourself with the word and the will and the promises of God. Find yourself in alignment. So be persistent, be present, and be well positioned. And that is what the rapture is all about, you know. Don't let Jesus come. Don't let Jesus come. Don't let Jesus come. And find you somewhere else and doing something else, you know. Else you will not be caught up at all. Are you following me? Don't let Jesus come. We must be present. We must be persistent. And we must be well positioned. And the Bible says, on that particular day, and the prophecies will come in more and more. And those in the school of the prophets, they realize this is the day. And they tell him again, hey, is today your boy is going, you know? Today your boy is going, boy, let me see what you could do. You know, sometimes our friends or relatives tease us uh, and they, they are very sarcastic. They say, all right, so and so trouble is happening in your life, in your family life, on your job. Eh? What is ever is happening? Hallelujah. And they want to see what you, so you're serving Jesus. Uh, let us see what your Jesus will do for you now. No? Has any one of us been faced with that kind of sarcasm? Let us see what your Jesus will do for you now. Yes. Make sure you are persistent. Make sure you're present. And make sure you're well positioned in your walk and talk with God. And that day came, friends. Elijah, Elijah said, I'm going across the river. He took the mantle. 
He hit the water, water open. You think Eli, Elijah say, I remain in here? He said, no, I'm going with you. Because here today is the day. So they walked over the river, and they were on the other side. And the rest of the, the, those of the school of the prophet, all the other students remain on the next side. And you know, with all the sarcasm and all the doubt and, 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 and giving this young man pressure, let me see what will happen after today, no boy. Let me see what will happen to you after today. You're close with the boss. After the day is crapper smoke your pipe. Eh? What will happen to you now? He gone. And they watch him. And from the time they reach over the river, boy, a chariot of fire came from heaven and took up Elisha. And this man remained on that. He started to cry. He said, Oh, prophet, prophet, didn't you tell me if I would be here to see you go up in that chariot of fire? I would receive the anointing. Elijah go on with the speed that God does move. Eh? You can't time God, you know. You could get your miracle, your instant healing in a moment, in a second this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your prayers could be answered in a moment. Hallelujah. You have been praying for it over years. Yes, yes. But it could happen in one moment. God is not limited to time. God is not limited to time and what people would say. And his boss just disappeared. But when you watch after the excitement, you see the mantle. He see, oh, this is the mantle that my boss opened the river with. He take it up. And everybody on the other side watching with doubt and sarcasm and as it a bad mindedness. Take up that mantle. The boss tell me, if I should see him, I'll get a double portion. He take up that mantle and he go on by the river and everybody watching to see what would happen. Everybody looking at your life and affairs. They want to see what will happen next with you. What would happen to your children? What would happen to your finances? Hard times have come in. Eh? If you go lose your job. Eh? You're sick. They want to see how fast you go dead. Eh? All kind of thing in people's mind you know, that is contrary and against you, you know. He took up the mantle and he touched the water. Guess what? The Bible said the water split on both sides. And this man walked through dry land. Well, all the doubters, all his colleagues and this in school of prophets, they opened them out and say, What? It looked like the man have it. You know, he's talking, we kind of language like he have it now, boy. He's not have it, it's the anointing upon his life. <laughs> and the Bible says, truly, all of them say now, truly, he has received the anointing to continue the work of the Lord. Come on, give the Lord a big clap. Give the Lord a big clap. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, sweet Jesus. It says here in verse 7, that's now, 2 Kings. And when the sons of the prophet, verse 15, which were to view at Jericho, saw him, they said, The spirit of Elijah doth rest on Elijah. And they came to meet him and bowed themselves to the ground before him. And they said unto him, Behold now, there be with thy servants, 50 strong men. Let them go and look for El Elijah. Elijah. He said, where are you going to look for Elijah? For You know where he's going? He's going to heaven. He's still going and look and they found nobody. He said, by thy what tell you? You wouldn't find him. He's going to be with God. So those guys who were giving him pressure came and bowed down before him and realized that, hear me, this is not the same man. When people start to see 
the double blessings upon you, the breakthroughs, the job, the promotion. When they start to see you get your new house, your new land, your, your car, when they see you who are sick and left for dead, start to walk around, hallelujah, and you have more life and you have more years to live, then they will know, hallelujah, that that person is serving Jesus, that person is a child of God, that person is a son and a daughter of God, because God has done great miracles in their life. And when they have their problem, it's by yourself they come in and say, you pray for me now. Are you following me how it goes? Friends, today, today, today could be your breakthrough. But you have to be diligent. You have to be consistent. You have to be persistent. Hallelujah. You have to always find yourself in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. You have to be well positioned. In your service to God. And you will have your breakthrough. You will have your breakthrough. Is a double portion you want today. Is a double portion of the anointing you want. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Before I go further, before I go further, let me give you a live example. Come, sister somebody. Come here. Come where people could see you. Sometimes we share this woman's testimony. But she's living all the way in New Grant. And it is difficult for her to come every Sunday. But this woman was sick with cancer and her family already making plans for her funeral. Someday Ram Kisun, is that his name? So close, sorry I put the wrong name. Your husband was that? Yeah, yeah, your husband was Ram Kisun. So. Right? So, so close. This woman, how many years ago you, it was that you, you were diagnosed with cancer? 19 years ago. 19 years ago. And one day I visited her home. There were some other preachers from up on that side of New Grant. And we prayed with this woman. And I believe instantly, immediately, this woman was healed. Come on, give the Lord a big clap. How many years now you are free? You have been visited. You visited the doctor. They probably put you out at the clinic now. How many years now you're free of cancer? The same 19. Same 19 years. And the, come on, give the Lord a big clap. She had lost all her hair, all of that, going through all the therapy and all of that. But look at her, how beautiful she looks. And she's serving God. And she's not suffering with cancer anymore. Because in a moment, Jesus healed her. And she's serving God with her family. Come on, give the Lord a big clap. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is someday. 19 years now. And it has come back. Eh? That is what Jesus is able to do. When you hear her testimony, we don't have time for that this morning. When you hear her testimony, the family were already making funeral arrangements because the doctor tell them go only fix all the business. And they're only waiting and watching. When she will die, and when they will have funeral, do what they had to do and done with that. 19 years now, the woman living as a testimony. The other people dying and going and leaving she. Amen? This is what Jesus is able to do, friends. You want a double portion. You don't just want to be the ordinary. You don't want to be the same person again. Hallelujah. So this morning, hallelujah, I want you to stand up. I want you to stand up. I want the worship team to come here. The worship team would remain here. I will direct you now what to do. Hallelujah. Sister Patsy and I will be on top here. Hallelujah. And we'll direct you what to do this morning. Yeah. Hallelujah. And that, that, that same song that you all were singing, just sing it slowly. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now, I want you, this is your time, eh? This is your time. This is your time. What could not have happened a whole year? Yes, could have happened. In a moment. Let him just raise this song as the Spirit of God moves. Thank you, Jesus. There's an uproaring yes, of abundance. Been 
It's a new level, it's a new level, hallelujah. hallelujah. We are walking in abundance. Come on, I want each and every one of you to be rich and holy. Ghost. You know your problems this morning. You know your situation. You know what you are going through. Call in the name of Jesus. Walking in abundance. Moving with the speed of the Holy Ghost. I am faithful. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Touch your people this morning. Lord, if that's a call on your name, I feel the anointing. The oil of the Holy Ghost is pouring this morning. Come on, take it. Receive, receive your miracles. Receive your breakthrough. Receive your healing. Receive your deliverance. Receive your financial breakthrough. Receive that job this morning. The speed of the Holy Ghost. I am favored. Oh, we walk keep it, keep it so. walking Softly. in abundance. Come on, I should be hearing you calling on the name of Jesus. Of Congregation, I want you to call I on the name of Jesus. I, your, your voice should be higher than the singing now. Your voice should be higher than the singing now. Call out to God. Tell him your problem. Tell him your situation this morning. I want to hear you, congregation. Reaching out, reaching out, reaching out. 
Congregation, I want to hear your voice above the choir. Calling out Jesus, hallelujah. Tell him about your sickness. Tell him about your disease. Tell him about your family problem. Tell him about your unemployment situation. Tell him about your financial situation. Tell him the name of the sickness you have. Talk to God alone by yourself, hallelujah. And you want your healing. Call out to Jesus. Call out to him this morning. Walking in a bus. Of the Holy Ghost. Cancer gone, I disappear, burn and consume. Hallelujah. Arthritis gone in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. That eye condition disappear and go in Jesus' name. Sugar diabetes disappear and go in Jesus' name. The speed of the Holy Ghost. I am favored. There are some of you that feel you want to come to the altar. And, ball, and, and kneel down here. Come, come quickly, Ghost. come quickly, come quickly, come quickly. Come on, cry out to God. Tell him your problems. Tell him your situation. Cry out to God. Yes, Lord. Yes. Moving with the speed of the Holy Ghost. I am favored. Oh, we declare it this year. We are walking, walking in abundance. Moving with the speed of the Holy Ghost, I am favored. Yes, Lord. Come on, I want to hear you crying out to God, calling on the name of Jesus this morning. Moving with the Tell him your problems. Tell him your situation. Tell him your faults. Tell him your weakness. Tell him whatever. Talk to Jesus. Talk to Jesus this morning. Walking in a Moving with the speed of the Holy Ghost, I am favored. Oh, walking in, walking in abundance, moving with the speed of the Holy Ghost, I am favored. We are walking in, walking in abundance. Moving with the speed of the Holy Ghost, I am favored. Oh, we declare it. We're walking in abundance. Moving with the speed of the Holy Ghost, I am favored. How oh, we are walking, walking in abundance. Moving with the speed of the Holy Ghost, I am favored. We are walking, walking in abundance. Moving with the speed of the Holy Ghost, I am favored. Walking in abundance. the Holy Ghost, I am famous, walking in abundance, moving with the speed of the Holy Ghost. Alright, what I want you to do for me, you know, we want to pray about everything that every situation you have at the same time. So I want you all, those of the first row here, you could come make a line. You may have your documents you want anointed. You have your finances that your, your money that you keep back to anoint to put away in a special place. Oh, yeah. We anoint you. You're sick, whatever. I want you to make a line and come up this way, and you go back to your seats in an orderly way. All right. And then the second row. So we handle here first. Then we handle there. Then we handle there and there. So we come in an orderly way. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah.
Contrario controller line up.
for good. You turn it for good. Oh, we declare it over our lives. You take what the enemy, you take what the enemy meant for evil, and you turn it for good. Everything, turn it for good. One more time, everything in our home, in our church, you take what the enemy meant for evil, and you turn it for good in our family, in our church. Turn it for good, or you take every time you take what the enemy meant for evil, and you turn it for good in our hands, in our lives. Turn it for good.
Hallelujah. Come on, give the Lord a big clap this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, sweet Jesus. Hallelujah. You may have your seats this morning. You realize uh, we had to move with a little speed this morning um, because it wouldn't be right to keep people too long in the church because of this COVID situation. Amen. So thanks for being patient with us. I believe God has touched each and every one of you. You have come in faith believing. When Jesus prayed for people, he said, according to your faith, it is done. Amen. According to your faith, it is done. Right? You go call in the name of Jesus. Those of you that need healing, I came for healing, say, with your stripes, Jesus, I am healed. Amen. With your stripes, I am healed in Jesus' name. He is a prayer answering God. Give the Lord a big clap this morning. At this time, as we get ready to, to round up our... The important thing we need to do is to pray for this prayer request. Yeah, so we got word that one of Lizzie's student friends, her mom, is sick in Barbados with COVID. Her name is Desiree Jessamy. And they said that she's in critical condition you know, in Barbados, and we want to pray for her. Father in heaven, I pray, Lord, for Desiree Jessamy. Lord, even as her daughter has sent a request for prayer, I curse that COVID over Desiree Jer Desri Jessamy in Jesus' name. For with your stripes, she is healed in Jesus' name. Restore her body, restore her health, restore her strength. And take her back to her home to live a normal life. I speak it on Jesus. I thank you for answering every prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Those of you, we prayed for your finances, right? Those money that we prayed that we anoint. Fold it in a particular way and keep it where you have your money. If there is somebody, somebody here who did not have a money to pray for, put up your hand. We'll take from the offering and give you a we pray over it and you put it away. Anybody? You did not have, you didn't come prepared for that. All right? Well, I think this is uh, Gloria. We didn't tell Gloria anything. So, um, Mr. Patsy will bring and we pray for some. Money back, Bob. See from the offering, bring something. Oh, you have? We prayed already for you? All right. We prayed already for it? You just give you? All right, let's pray. Hallelujah. So as I say, put away that money in a particular way, in a 
place where you put your rest of your money, your pay, whatever. Right? Pull it, put it in away in your bank book, wherever. And every time you get paid and your residence, say, Lord, multiply it in Jesus' name. That has worked and continue to work. Amen. It's not the money, it's not that, but faith believing in Jesus. Let's all stand at this time. I have to Bob to come. Amen. And the believers in the church to just get around this box. Amen. I want Brother Bob to lift up this box. Some of you just come around here. Come around here. Hallelujah. Just touch this. And the rest of the congregation, you may have your request inside there. Stretch your hand and believe in faith. Father in heaven, Lord, you know every prayer request, everything. Lord, you know everyone, my name and nature. Right now, let your Holy Ghost fire fall upon this. I want you to pour some oil in this. Look here. Hallelujah. Double anointing. Double anointing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Throw two sets of oil in this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. One, two. Double anointing for double breakthrough and double victory. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a big clap this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you for answering every prayer ready. Thank you for having answered every prayer ready. Breakthrough and victory as never before. Healing for sick bodies, my God. Financial breakthrough, jobs, my God. Employment, Father, my God. Unsaved love wants to be saved, Father, my God. Victories and breakthroughs in land matters. Financial breakthroughs, all sorts of breakthrough. Lord, you know everything. Salvation for the lost. Everything, everything. Salvation of unsaved loved ones. Victory and breakthrough. I speak it on. And I thank you for having answered every prayer already. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. All right. So, Bob will go and burn that. We don't keep that around. All right. Hallelujah. R remain standing. There's this new strain of COVID virus that is that hitting the Europe and, and England. And you know, whatever goes on in the world comes around. All right. So, those prayer requests, we, we burn it up. That doesn't lie around. None of your business lays around to anybody. That is between you and God. Hallelujah. Father in heaven, I pray against my God that new strain, second and third strain of COVID-19. I curse it. I command it to mash up. Hallelujah. To be broken up in pieces, my God. I command it to disappear. Go in Jesus' name. To disintegrate. That COVID will die in Jesus' name. COVID-19 and all the various strains will die in Jesus name and I speak divine health and strength divine guidance direction protection for us and our loved ones our families locally regionally internationally all over my God divine guidance direction and protection and we command COVID-19 to die disappear go in Jesus name cover us with the blood of Jesus cover each and every one of us our homes my God our families Lord, my God, with the precious blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, for divine breakthrough and victory as never before. We thank you for having answered prayers already. For with your stripes we are healed. And I thank you, Lord, for the double portion. The double portion. Come on, I want to hear you. Come on, come on. Thank the Lord for a double portion of the anointing, Lord, my God. Physically, spiritually, hallelujah, financially, my God. Even in our bodies, divine health and strength. And breakthrough as never before. I'm seeing God just removing things from people's life. I see sickness going, hallelujah. I'm seeing land matters settled, hallelujah. I'm seeing financial breakthrough. Finances coming in your hands, hallelujah. Come on, thank him for it, thank him for it, hallelujah. Those of you with your struggles, hallelujah. Your emotional struggles. Those of you, hallelujah, with habits are being broken right now, hallelujah terrible relationships hallelujah go on lord you are handling it right now thank you jesus thank you lord someone needs a a big financial breakthrough i see you getting money in your hand money is in your hand money is in your hand god is working it out because he's a miracle working god and like him there is none other oh jesus and help us, Lord, to live for you every day of our lives. 
him, Lord, as your people would go to the various ways home. Carry them safely under the blood of Jesus, my God. Protect them, build a hedge of protection around them. I thank you, Lord, for doing it. I thank you, thank you for doing it. I thank you, Lord, for having answered every prayer. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Give the Lord a big clap. Hallelujah. For the announcement, we'll be back here again normal time Wednesday 7 p.m. Friday 7 p.m. and Sunday 9 a.m. All right, I want you to continue being in an attitude of prayer and praise and worship. Um, Brother Hansard will do the final prayer. As you do. Father God, and we all bow our head in prayer. Father God, you know everything before we even ask for it, oh dear God. Father, Thank you, O God, for stirring up that faith in our life, O dear God. Father, thank you, O God, for your promise of your word. Your word never lie, O dear God. Father, every word in your word, in your, in your, every word is being fulfilled here this morning, O dear God. Father, and we, we claim it done in your son, Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Read somebody.